Welcome to my van. Gosh dang it. Gosh dang I have to start over again. Dang it. <laughs> Why am I blanking? I need a script. I can't. I'm just trying to wing this. Can you tell? Oh dear. <laughs> I, this is too much talking. I can't do this. <laughs> Three years later, and she's finally doing a van tour. How about that? <laughs> Welcome to my van. Welcome to my shoebox kingdom. This is a 2016 Ram Promaster 2500. It's the high rooftop model and the shortest wheelbase at 136 inches. It's front wheel drive and it runs on gas and in total, it's about 60 square feet of living space. So the tour really shouldn't take that long. So this is the garage space underneath the fixed bed. I've got three quarter inch maple plywood as the platform for the full size bed. The bed is just, you know, a foam mattress from Ikea. And these are galvanized steel telescoping bed slats, also from Ikea. Ten bucks each, I think. Super cheap. I've got tons of storage underneath the bed for outdoor gear, for whatever the heck you want. And then I put the entire electrical system, super easy to access, over here on one side. You can see that you've got the charge controller for the solar panels, a 2000 watt PureZine Wave inverter from Renogy, I've got the kill switch, I've got the fuse box labeled for easy understanding of what is what, and then two 200 amp hour deep cycle hybrid gel batteries, also from Renogy. It's so much power. I've I've never run out. And the nice thing about these batteries is that they can handle extreme temperatures, both cold and hot. The downside to them is that they're heavy as sh. So I guess you could call this the bedroom area. There's not much to it. I built two upper cabinets over here. They're both on gas struts. Can store lots of stuff in there. I built a long bookshelf along one of the back doors over here. And then you have the bed, just a full-size foam mattress from Ikea. Nothing much to it. Moving on. So this is the kitchen space. Space? Kitchen space? This is a kitchen, this is a kitchen space. Oh, oh boy. So this is the kitchen space that I intentionally built with lots of storage in mind. And it also doubles as the control center for all the aspects of the van. You've got the thermostat for the Webasto heater, as well as two different dimmer switches for the puck lights both in the front and the back by the bed. You've also got the switch for the inverter and the max air fan remote control. All of this is accessible from bed, intentionally done that way, and then mounted to the butcher block countertop is where you'll find your AC outlets as well as USB ports. So I built these two upper cabinets for food storage, and then down below you've got a bunch of drawers for pots and pans, utensils, things like that. When I started my van build, I had no prior experience, I had no idea what I was doing. So to get myself started, I decided to just order some IKEA kitchen cabinetry. So that's what that is over here on this side. The retro style mini fridge made by Daewoo is located underneath the bed. It's not 12 volt, but it's plugged directly into my inverter and doesn't seem to draw a lot of power at all, which is super nice. I can fit a lot of food in here. The only downside to it is that it doesn't have a freezer. I opted for a larger size sink. It's stainless steel, it's made by Ruvati, and I've been really, really happy with it. I'm able to do lots of dishes, as well as keep tons of produce in the basket compartment. And then underneath the sink is where the five gallon freshwater jug is, as well as a seven gallon tank for gray water. Also under here is where I've got a recycling bin, a trash bin, and then a little section for a dry composting toilet, AKA a five gallon bucket. It gets the job done. Last but not least is the front cab area. There are two different overhead storage compartment sections and there's also storage in the dash and underneath the driver's seat. I also added in these blackout curtains for a little bit more privacy. And then you'll notice behind the driver's seat is where I installed the Webasto heater. It's an Airtop 2000 and the fuel line is connected directly to the van's gas tank. I ended up only installing one swivel seat. It's on the passenger side, but you could easily add a swivel seat to the driver's side as well. I think this van is kind of perfect for just one person. You could manage two people, but you'd have to like each other to a disgusting degree. 
I don't know, but that's just me. <laughs> I'm really getting down to the wire with this one. Uh, talk about a last chance van tour. Today's my last day with the van. A couple of things I forgot to mention that are probably fairly important to a van tour video. I have 400 watts of solar panels on my roof and I also have installed a DC to DC charger. These are the two main ways that I recharge my deep cycle hybrid gel batteries, aka my house van batteries. A couple other things that I think I forgot to mention were for the cabinets and the drawers, I have different locking mechanisms to keep things from flying out when I'm driving. So the cabinets have this magnetic baby lock system and then the drawers just have your pretty typical drawer catches installed on the inside of each drawer. We've got the max air fan, we've got some hooks to hang towels and what have you, a smoke detector, I already took the fire extinguisher out. It's a really basic build. That's all I have to say about that. You can go crazy fancy or you can keep it super simple. I did the latter. As far as cooking goes, I just used a portable butane stove, camper stove. It worked out really well for me. It didn't take up a lot of space. I've been happy with it, you know? Wow. It's just hitting me that this is my last day in this van. This is weird. Uh... <laughs> So if you're one of the people who skip forward during the sponsored portion of this video, you probably missed me talking about why it is I'm selling this van. The reason that I'm selling this van, yes, I just called you out. The reason why I am selling this van is because I want to upgrade to a 4x4 rig. I've had this Ram Promaster for three years now. It's front wheel drive, which is better than rear wheel drive, but it's not 4x4 capable. And I'm ready to hit trails and mountains and back roads that are 4x4 accessible only. I love this lifestyle. I want to keep doing this lifestyle. But I'm ready for something new. I'm ready for something different. And it's time. The two pieces of advice, the biggest things I can say to anyone who's even remotely interested in, in trying something like this, two things. Number one, the perfect time to start is never going to come. It's just not. So you just have to get started. And number two, the perfect van does not exist. It just doesn't. There's always going to be something. And the longer you're on the road, the more likely you're probably going to experience a breakdown or getting stuck or some other wild adventure that is unexpected, unplanned, and creates uncertainty and unknowns in your life. So if that's not your jam, <laughs> good luck, my friend. Yeah, no, I'm totally okay with that as long as you can make a note in, in it that the vehicle has been sold and yeah, as long as the policy is suspended and all that, that's, that's perfect. Cool, thank you so much. And then I'll just give you a call. I'm, I'm pretty, you know, as long as it's all universally aligned and things like that, um, I will call you as soon as, you know, the transaction goes through. Fingers crossed. Yeah, I'm definitely, yeah, I'm definitely, you know, counting on that Toyota reliability type thing. <laughs> Bro, I can't, I don't, I don't know how to do this. Like, it's, it's not that hard. You got some cabinets, you got a bed, you got a bookshelf. Move on. Ah, that is so loud. I don't know about this whole van tour thing. It is impossible to do this in one take. And my jaw is clicking like crazy. I can't do this. <laughs> yeah, I put that in for free. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, what else was I gonna say? You would think I would be good at this by now. <laughs> I'm gonna miss this thing, but at the same time too, I'm kind of not, because I'm ready. And when you know, you know. Ow, mother!